All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakai Kudash, that will honor our elder apostles of Great Millstone that do well, and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that's pushing his word with true sincerity. All right, today I want to get into a quick lesson, um, you know, a, a little response to the uh, elder Demashapaz video on a uh, testimony of faith uh, boosting experience. All right. Um, you know, it's basically about how uh, niggas was, you know, fucking with him. All right. He went out to get some, uh, went out to get a drink, you know, just to, you know, chill, get out. And uh, uh, it was some Jake's. All right. Uh, 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 a couple, you know, messing with him. And uh, he had threw up curses on him, man. Threw curses on him. And then he said that uh, it was a confusion of face. All right. Basically said that. Um, uh said that, you know, those those uh, Jakes was in trouble, man, all right? Because, hey, hey, man, hey, when you mess with the prophets, man, all right, hey, man, it's repercussion for that, man, all right? You you just you just don't mess with the prophets, and then, hey, you, you just get a slap on the wrist, all right, man? Hey, man, hey, when you, hey, it's going to get to a point, like, like he said, man, all right? These people are just going to start dropping dead, man, all right? Just dropping dead, man. All right, cause hey man, you 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 touching the Lord, the Lord's anointed man. All right, you touching His messengers, His prophets, man. All right, hey man, a lot a lot of wars start because of uh uh uh, uh killing the messenger. All right, a lot of wars start because of that, man. All right, so you think that you you just go touch the prophets and nothing's gonna happen, man? All right, so let me get into it. This is first uh first Chronicles, sixteen to thirteen. Oh. O ye say, O ye seed of of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is, uh, he he is Yahweh our power, his judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his uh, of his covenant, the word which he command uh, which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham in his. Uh, and of his oath unto Isaac, and he have confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee, I will give, I will give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance, where ye were uh, but few, even a few, um, and, and strangers in it, and when they went from nation to nation, and from and from one kingdom to another people. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. All right, man? Because, hey, we, we are the only true Israelites out here, man. All right? Hey, these, these niggas out here, man, they niggas. They niggas, man. All right? Hey, they, they're, they're other father of the devil, man. All right? They're heathens right now. Okay? Even though they're Israelites by blood, man. All right, hey, they following the ways of the heathens, okay? So, hey, man, hey, hey, the Lord said, touch not my anointed, man. All right, we are the anointed uh, of Yahweh by Shemi, I was shy, man, okay? So, hey, man, hey, you, you, you think that touching, touching the prophets is not going to be, uh, uh, you know, any um, uh, repercussion for that, man? You got to be out of your man, man, all right? And it said, do my prophets no harm, man, all right? Hey, man, hey, you're not supposed to be touching the prophets, man, talking down on the prophets, all right? Uh, 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 you know, putting stumbling blocks in front of the prophets, man. All right, whatever it may be, man. All right, you're not supposed to be doing that. Because, hey, the Lord will jack your ass up for that shit, man. All right? So let me get... Uh, let me see, I think it was Psalms... Psalms 105... And verse uh, 15, it says... Saying, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. All right, man. Hey, King David, um, uh, uh, you know, this, this is put back into the Psalms, man. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, hey, because hey, that's important. All right. Not to touch the prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, not to touch his anointing, man. All right. Because hey, hey, if you do that, man, hey, the Lord is the Lord is gonna bring harm back onto you. Okay. So let me get Matthew's. 18 verse 1 it says uh at the same time came came the disciples unto uh Yahweh Shai saying who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him 
and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven because your mind has to be uh, uh, re reprogrammed, man. All right, your man has to be uh, 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 wiped with all the BS that's been put into it uh, in, in this world. So you got to be come back uh, as a little child, man. All right, so that's why when you cut, first come into this faith, all right, you you are you are a little one, man. All right, you back you back uh, as as a little child. And it says, uh, uh, who whosoever therefore shall humble himself as as this little child, the same shall the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive uh, one such little, uh, let me read that over, verse 5. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiving me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones uh, which, which believe in me, it, uh, it were better for him that, that a millstone were hanged about his neck and uh, that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. All right, man. So, hey, if, if you if you touch a, a little one, man, all right, somebody who is just coming to the faith that y'all about me out shy, man. All right, hey, it it it'll be better if a mule stone was hanged around your neck and you were drowned to the depths of the sea, man. All right, hey, man, that's that's a horrible death, man. Okay, that's a horrible death. Hey, so so if you so if you offending the uh, the prophets, man. All right, touching the prophets, man. All right, talking stuff about the prophets, whatever it may be, man. Hey man, hey that hey, it's gonna be a a, a, hor a horrible judgment is gonna come after that man, okay? A horrible judgment is gonna come after that man, okay? Let me see if I got uh okay. Let me get this. Luke seventeen and verse one it says, then said he unto the disciples, uh it it is impossible. I say it is impossible, but that offenses will come, but uh, but woe unto unto him um, through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and cast and cast uh, into the sea, than than that he should offend one of these little ones. All right, man. So, hey, man, hey, if you if you, if you touching uh, 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 the prophets of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man, hey. The Lord is gonna put a very horrible judgment on you, man. Okay, hey, 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 and it's it's, it's, it's been niggas that uh that done killed prophets, man. Hey, man, all, all these niggas are, are, are just um their fathers coming back, man. All right, that's all they are. They fathers coming back. Okay, you know. So let me get um. Second Kings. Cause hey, this, this is an account. Where some uh, uh little kids was messing with um a prophet, the Elisha uh uh, pro uh the prophet Elisha man, all right, and this what happened to them. This is uh Second Kings two, and verse uh twenty three, and he went up from from hence unto um uh uh Beth uh, Beth uh, and as he was about, I'm saying, and, and as he was going up by the way, there came four little children out of the city and mocked him. And said unto him, go up thou ball head, go up thou ball head. All right, so they was mocking him, man, talking shit. All right, just just the same way that, uh, that those niggas was doing to the elder Demashapai, man. All right, they was talking shit to him, man. All right, and then the elder put curses on their ass, man. And it says, verse 24, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of Yahweh by Shai. And there came, four, there came 42 she bears out of the wood and tear uh, 40 and two children of them. All right, man. So, hey, hey, they was they was messing with the prophet Elisha, man. And he threw curses on the on their ass in the name of the Lord, man. All right. And some she bears came and ripped their ass to shreds, man. All right. So, hey, man, hey, 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 y'all people think that we don't have power. All right. In, uh, in, 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 um, in this society, today's society, man. All right. Hey, hey, like the elder said, man, let's go start getting to a point where we throw curses on niggas and their ass just goes drop dead, man. All right, where well, they may turn the corner and instantly get their brains blew out, man. All right, hey man, hey, you niggas go learn to stop fucking with the prophets, man. All right, let me get Psalms 51 and 43 and verse uh, 10. It says, Be still and know that I am Yahweh. All right, man, because hey, we we not we not gonna do anything. 
uh, uh, um, we're not going to do anything out, out, of, out, of, out of our own power, man. All right. Because we have no power. All right. So, hey, we go, we, we, we go um, uh, curse your ass, man. All right. And that's it. But hey, hey, we 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 ain't no um um no you know no no choir boys or anything like that. All right, if you put your hands on us, hey, expect to get your hands uh, uh expect hands to get put back on you. All right. But hey, hey, if you if, if if you if you talking shit, man, hey, whatever it may be, man, hey, we're gonna throw curses on your ass and trust in the Lord that the Lord is gonna deal with you, man. All right, because He is gonna deal with you. Okay. And it says, I will I will be exalted amongst the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahweh is is Yahweh of hosts is with us and in uh in the power of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. All right, man. Cause hey man, hey, we, we can't do anything, man. All right. Hey, 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 with the Lord with us, man. Hey, hey, the Lord, the Lord is gonna fight for us, man. All right, the Lord is not just gonna allow some niggas come up and touch his prophets, man. All right. Hey, hey, and uh um uh the Lord, the Lord is our refuge, man. All right, when any hey when anything happens, man, we run to the name of Yahweh by Shmi Al Shai. Let me get let me get this preset right quick. Uh, Proverbs eighteen and verse. Let me see. I think it's sixteen. What is it? Oh, I think it's Proverbs eight. Let me see. Uh, huh? Oh, let me look this up right quick. Cause hey, hey man, hey, we we not gonna do anything but run, run to um Yahweh by Shemel Shai for help, man. Cause we can't do anything, man. Okay? Uh let me find this right quick. Uh bear with me. Oh, okay, Salakia is Proverbs 18 and 10. This is Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. Uh, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and is safe. All right, man. So we run, we run into the name of Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai, man, and we're safe, man. Okay. Hey, no harm, no harm can come can come near you if you have the power of the whole universe, man. All right, the power of the whole universe. Okay, nothing can come against you, man. Okay, we are safe, man. We we run into that strong tower, man. All right, hey, we we at war right now, man. All right, we gotta run, we gotta run uh uh into our safe spot, man. Our safe spot is your Hawa Bashimi Al Shai, man. Nothing else, man. All right, you can't put your trust into your uh uh weapon, man. You can't put your trust into your own hands. You can't put your trust into your own damn mind, man. All right, you have to put your trust into your Hawa Bashimi Al Shai, man, because that's the only thing that's gonna save you. Okay, so let me get Romans. Hey, and, that, and that's why the elder threw curses on threw curses on their ass, man. All right. Hey, the the, the elder could have got carnal. All right, talked uh, uh uh turned around and start talking stuff back to him. All right. All right, saying that he had how he how he would put hands on him, saying you know he could have did anything, man. All right, but what he do? He did the right thing, man. All right, he threw curses on their ass, man. All right, and hey, what whatever comes after that comes after that, man. Who knows? They 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 may get a a a, a disease where it eats them from the inside out, man. All right. Starts starts to uh, eat their children first, all right. Their loved ones, whoever else they may love, and then kill their ass last, man. All right. Who knows, man? All right. Hey, and that 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 what comes with uh, messing with the prophets, man. All right. You go get a a very horrible death. All right. Romans eight and thirty one. What shall we then say to de uh, to these things? If Yahweh be with us, who can be against us? All right, man. If Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is with us, who can be against us, man? All right, <laughs> the the creator of the whole universe, man, complete and utter uh, omnipotence. All right, is on our side. Hey, hey, man, that that's also why we gotta have faith, man. All right, cause hey, man, we we have complete and utter omnipotence, uh, omnipotence on our side, man. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is absolute. All right, we have him on our side, man. Hey, no, nothing, nothing can be against us, man. All right, nothing is gonna uh uh, uh shake us, man. Okay, so let me get. Uh, let me just go jump down to verse six. It says, "For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace." All right, man. Cause a hey, a hey, man a hey, to have a carnal mind, man. All right, to trust in yourself. All right, a hey, man. That's death unto you, man. All right. Cause a hey, you can't do anything, man. All right. 
But hey, to have a spiritual man and trust in Yahweh Bashem, I was shy, man. All right, that's life and peace. Okay, man? That is life and peace, man. So let me get Matthews. 23 and verse 27 <clears throat> it says woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for ye are like unto uh, uh white sepulchers which indeed appear be uh, appear beautiful outward but are uh full but but are within full of dead man's bones and of uncleanness even so even so ye also outwardly uh outwardly appear uh righteous unto men but within, ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. All right, man. Hey, the, and these these niggas are are, are their uh, uh, fathers coming back, man. All right, these niggas are the same scribes and Pharisees that was uh, messing with Yahweh Shai. All right, hey, man. No, those niggas are the same uh, 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 ones who was putting the prophets to death, man. Okay, he's the same niggas back, man. All right, hey, man. These niggas are nothing but hypocrites, man. Nothing but hypocrites. All right. Hey, hey, if, if you if, if you was if you just came up to them, all right, and then just starts uh, uh talking stuff to them, man, they will think that you was wrong, all right. But they but but they just do this to a random person, all right, and think that it's cool, man, all right. That they, they ain't nothing but goddamn hypocrites, man. And that's why Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna start putting these niggas to death, man. All right, verse twenty nine. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish and garnish uh, the sepulchres of, of the righteous and say, if we if we uh, had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have have been partakers with, with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. All right, man. These same niggas, uh, 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 in today's society, those same niggas, all right, talking shit to uh, uh Yahweh Shai is the same niggas that put the prophets to death, man. All right, led the prophets to the slaughter. All right, snitch, uh, 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 uh um, you know, got the prophets put to death, man, executed, man. All right, these are the same niggas, man. All right, cause they trusted Esau Edom, man. Esau Edom is their father. Okay, not Yahweh Shai. All right, not Yahweh Bashmi Shai, man. Esau Edom, man. So, uh, and it says, uh, fill ye up the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye, ye, gener uh, uh, ye generation of vipers. How can ye cast, uh, uh, how can ye escape the damnation, the damnation of hell? All right. And it says, uh, wherefore behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city all right man and hey hey this is all gonna come back in today's society man there's no new thing under the sun man all right everything just keeps on coming back and back man hey and this scripture also proves rege uh, uh, regeneration what people call reincarnation man all right hey because hey hey what whatever you was in your past life you're gonna come back and do the same shit man all right so hey, those niggas that that was talking shit to the prophets, man, uh, 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 back in the times of old, is the same niggas back in today's society, man. All right, hey, hey, hey your family members, some of your family members go uh, get you put to death, man. All right, your closest friends are gonna get you put to death, man. All right. And it says, uh, verse thirty-five, that un that uh, upon you may call may come all the righteous uh, blood shed up upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel. Unto the blood of uh, Zacharias, son of uh, Beshrus, uh, whom ye slew between the temple of the altar. All right, man. And, and, and all this blood, all right, that these that these uh, uh, um, uh, niggas are going to cause, man. All right. Hey, hey it's going to be upon them, man. All right. Hey, how about Shai is going to reward them for that, man. All right. And there's going to be a horrible, horrible death for that, man. And it says in verse uh, 36. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children uh, together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wing, under her wings, and ye would not. All right, man. So hey, these these, these niggas are, are back, man. All right, the ones that killed the prophets, all right, stoned the prophets, man, talk stuff about the prophets, man. All right? Hey, man, they're all back, man. Okay? 
Hey, and the Lord, the Lord judge, judge people for uh, uh, messing with the prophets, man. All right. So, hey, hey, man, hey, if you, hey, these niggas, all right, they say they read the Bible. All right. So, hey, when, when you go through and read the Bible, see what, see what happened to people uh, 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 who mess with the prophets, man. All right. All right. You met, you, you mess with the prophets. Hey, you're going to get uh, uh, put to death for that, man. Okay. Hey, and this uh, scripture also proves that uh, the apographer is canon with the Holy Bible. All right. The, um, the last part, you know. But um, let me get John 8 and verse 34. It says, How was shy answered them? Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. All right, man. Hey, mess, messing with the prophets is uh is a sin, man. All right. That is a sin. OK. And it says and the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided forever. Uh, if the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. All right, man. Cause hey, the only way you, you become free, all right, is uh uh um um uh, believing in Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai makes you free. But hey, these niggas don't believe in, in, in Yahweh Shai, man. They're they're subject to sin, man. They're subject to their flesh. Okay, and it says, I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. All right, man. The word of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai has no place in these niggas, man. All right. Hey, hey, these were uh, uh, Jews, man. All right. Um, Abraham C. All right. But they were seeking to uh, 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 kill Yahweh Shai, man. All right. The same way that they that these niggas seek to kill uh, the prophets, man. All right. And it says, verse 38, I speak, uh, I speak that which I have seen with my father. And ye do that which ye have seen with your father. <laughs> and it says, They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. All right, man? And these niggas, hey, man, these niggas are, 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 are not the, uh, the children of Abraham, man. They're the children of Satan, man. All right? They are the children of Esau, Edom. Okay? Because, hey, man, they, they don't do the works of Abraham, man. All right? In verse uh, 40, but but now ye see to kill me a man that have told you the truth, which I which I have heard of Yahweh. This do not Abraham. All right, man. Hey, hey, man. These niggas seek to put us to death because we're giving them a history lesson, man. <laughs> All right, we're giving them a history lesson. All right, we're 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 telling them uh, about salvation. All right, the kingdom of heaven, man. Beautiful, glorious things to come. And these niggas seek to put us to death, man. All right. Abraham will not do this, all right? And hey, man, hey, it's, it's, it's even niggas who, who, who claim that they Israelites and will still try to put the uh, put the prophets to death, man, all right? Will still try to put the prophets to death, man. It's like in verse 41, it says, Ye do the deeds of your father, then said then said they to him, uh, we, we be not born of fornication. We have no, we, we have one father, even Yahweh. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If Yahweh were your father, he would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from Yahweh, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. All right? And it says, verse 43. Salakia. So uh, why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. All right? Because, hey, amen, this word ain't meant for these niggas, man. Verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh of a lie, he speaketh of his own for he is the father. He is a, he is a liar and the father of it. All right, man. And that's Esau Edom, man. All right. You niggas are of your father, the devil, man. All right. And, uh, and, and, and the lust of your father, you would do. All right. Because, hey, man, these niggas are, are subject to sin, man. Subject to vanity. All right. They're nothing but reprobates, man. All right, they 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 just they just sitting here waiting to get put to death, man. Sitting here waiting to get destroyed by IC nu uh, ICBM nuclear missiles. All right, whatever the judgment uh, uh Yahweh by Shmi Shai has for them, man. All right, they they just sitting here waiting, man. These niggas have no purpose, man. No purpose, man. All right, but death. Okay. Hey, hey, you and, and, and you think that touching the prophets, man, nothing's gonna happen unto you, man. All right. Hey, hey, you, you, hey, you, you gotta be stupid as hell, man. All right. 
This is Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right, man? So, hey, all the sinners, all the sinners of our people are going to die by the sword, man. All right? You mess with the prophets, man. All right? You talk, you, 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 uh, uh, talking shit to us because we're telling you the truth, man. All right? We, we, we telling you glorious things to come, man. All right? But you niggas want to sit here and live in Babylon the great, man. All right? And talk, and, 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 uh, and, and touch the Lord's anointing, man. All right? And doing his prophets harm, man. Okay? Hey, so Lord, the Lord is going to start judging a lot of these niggas, man. All right? A lot of these niggas. All right? We just got to keep throwing up those curses, man. Keep throwing up those curses, man. All right? Speaking for myself, first and foremost, of course, you know, keep throwing up those curses, man. Keep putting your trust in your how about me out shy, man. All right? Because that's the only thing that's going to uh, uh, save you and the only thing that's going to help you, man. Okay? So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakai Kodash, double honest our elder apostles of great millstone and dual will, and salutations and blessings to Akim that's pushing this word with truth and sincerity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.